I think that one of the things that we did well the first time that we kind of wanted to do this time around was to make sure to uh, to keep it fun. This is a fun movie. It's a fun story. Um, the turtles, you know, are great in that they don't take themselves too seriously. Sort of in the in the sort of scope of uh, of uh, superhero, if you will, movies, the turtles are kind of light-hearted, and so we're just keeping that going. No matter who you are, you can identify with one of the turtles. There's kind of something out there for everybody when it comes to the turtles, um, and um, I, there's a you know there are a lot of universal themes at play here. You have you know the the sense of family and and the sort of loyalty to that kind of thing is is pretty awesome and and something that people everywhere globally can relate to uh at at the end of the first movie um the turtles have in effect saved new york and uh with a little bit of help from april o'neill and a little bit of help from Vern fenwick uh in the second movie um, we open up, the turtles can't take credit for saving the world or saving New York. Uh, and so my character, Vern, has been elected to be the one to take the credit. And uh, um, he's happy to do it. And so we find Vern, he's kind of on top of the world. He's courtside of the Knicks game. He's at all the great parties and he's getting the key to the city. And so we just kind of had fun with that, uh, which was great. And uh, and I think that once we see another imminent threat, Vern is a lot less, he didn't really want to get involved the first time. This time he really doesn't want to get involved. He's like, look, I got a great thing going here. Why would I go back and fight you know, these guys again? I like that this guy, that this character is, he kind of says what he feels for the most part. Um, He's like, look, let's, you know, he's, in a lot of ways, the voice of reason. Um, when April wants to do things or the turtle, you know, he's kind of like, wait, this is insane. You guys are turtles. Uh, this is nuts. Let's not do that. You know, he's, there's a little bit of restraint. But it, also, at the end of the day, I like that he's very loyal, loyal to his friendship with, uh, with April and now with the turtles. Um, so it, it's, yeah, there's a kind of a nice element to it. He's, he's kind of a good guy in a lot of ways. Steven's been great. Um, he, uh, it's nice to, first of all, he's a great guy. Um, and it's nice to have another Canadian on board, I was going to say. Um, but he, you know, it's a tough thing for him to come into the second movie. Again, we've all been kind of chugging along here for a couple of years and, and, um, so I, I think we did a good job making make him feel welcome. A little bit of hazing, probably. Uh, but he's fit right in, and now it's like, yeah, he's part of, the, part of our crew. Great to be working with Megan again. And, uh, you know, I've known Megan a long time now, and uh, we get along great. And she just, Megan brings a sort of a rebelliousness to April, um, which, which is what April is. She's a rebel. And... Um, and Megan just kind of has that innately. This one is going to be packed. It's just really, I, I, I think about all this stuff we got to do. I'm like, oh, yeah, that and that and that. And, or and all this stuff that we shoot. And I think, like, where are we going to put all this? It's just like overflowing with action and fun moments and cool stuff and real threats and, and great, you know, some really nice moments, too.